Good morning all, my name's Darren and today I'm going to give you a quick overview on our DTS Facade Designer and a new tool, or sorry, new feature within our tool called the JV3 Potential. Now what is JV3 Potential? It is essentially a summary of uh, the potential to comply with Section J provisions via an alternative pathway, meaning what you see in front of you here is one pathway. This is the DTS pathway, but the JV3 potential is an alternative pathway. One way or the other, you need to pass via one of these pathways. So let's look at a quick example. So at the moment, uh, within here, we have a 60% window to wall ratio. Uh, let's push that up a little bit. 64 Four, five percent. Okay, cool. So um, we have a system U value of 2.7, so that's relatively high performing, and we have a solar heat gain coefficient of 30 percent, so 0.3. So that's the amount of uh, solar irradiance allowed into the space, or uh, as it, as dictated by the glass choice. So what we can see here is that fundamentally our north our east and our west are failing via this DTS provision by virtue of uh, the bars being higher than this yellow line which is our allowance. However, with the JV3 potential we can see that there is a likely compliance with the JV3 pathway dictated by this single plus. We will see a good and a best sort of um, opportunity or potential dictated by double and triple pluses there. So that's quite simply it. All this interface does now is give us two options for compliance. The DTS, the standard, which we've seen before, and the JV3 potential, which this uh, specific uh, orientation and glass makeup and window to wall ratio allows us uh, to meet the alternative pathway for compliance. Okay, that's it. Thank you.